Hey guys, happy Sunday. I am filming, yes, another grocery haul video. I realize that I've been to the grocery store three times the past week, but <clears throat> I don't know. I just haven't been picking up everything that I needed and then, you know, a new week is starting now, so I had to pick up stuff for this next week. So anyway, uh, the two stores I went to today um, I went to Natural Grocer again um, because I kind of scouted them out for the first time in a while on Friday. And then I also went to uh, Dylan's, which is a, um, a more Midwest version of Kroger grocery store. So I will just go ahead and start with Natural Grocer. Um, I'm really excited about these little four packs that I got of Zevia because they are in glass bottles and I already took one out so I could chill it in the grocery store or so I could chill it in the refrigerator anyway um so yeah I just I really like how they taste I feel like I'm drinking something that in my opinion at this point I feel like it tastes even better than a regular pop or soda um so yeah I'm really happy about that I also got a natural grocer erythritol uh this is one pound and it was $6.99. And at um, the Dylan's that I go to, the erythritol I believe is like 10 or $11. So that was uh, quite a quite a bit better um, price-wise, so erythritol. Also because I seem to be doing a ton of actual keto style of baking, I needed to get even more almond flour. Um, I get the blanched almond flour and uh, I think I just need to end up buying it in bulk because I think that's going to be better price-wise in the long run for me instead of continually buying it by the pound and paying like 11 bucks a pound. Um, anyway, so the next thing I got at Natural Grocer, and you can get this at other places, but this is, I'm trying to get the, it's like coated over and it has like some freezer, like freezer ice coating on it. So delicious dairy-free coconut milk in uh, mint chocolate chip. And this is, uh, the serving size is a half cup. There's four servings per pint. It's 18 total carbs, um, 10 grams of dietary fiber. So about eight grams of um, net carbs. There are sugar alcohols in here. There's five and I do uh, consider a sugar alcohol the same as sugar since it does. Um, studies have found um, that it affects your bloodstream and you have an insulin response to a sugar alcohol pretty much the same as you do a regular sugar. So I do count sugar alcohols as a sugar personally. I also um, decided to jump on the bandwagon and get some Himalaya, Himalayan gourmet salt that you grind. First of all, it looks really cute. It looks like little, like, I don't know, little salt. I mean, it is little crystals. It's just really cute. Um, anyway, I just, it has the grinder on it too. And I do like to grind my salt and pepper anyway. One of the girls on YouTube, I think it was Keto Karma. I can't remember. I really can't. She was talking about how Himalayan sea salt is really good for people on keto. I have no idea if that's true, but I thought the salt looked cute and hey, it's always good to have more salt. So I went ahead and bought it. So we'll find out if it actually does anything excellent for my health. Uh, the other thing I got was some Simply Organic Madagascar Vanilla with non-alcoholic um, flavoring. So the ingredients are just organic glycerin, organic vanilla bean, ex extratives, and water. That's it. So two ingredients for my vanilla extract. And I, I got two float ounces. They had huge bottles. I don't know how long I'm going to be on this baking bandwagon for keto. I've just been really in the mood to make things recently to bake. So I got the small bottle just in case I lose interest and stop doing it after a few weeks. So I kind of go back and forth on keto. Sometimes I feel like cooking a lot and sometimes I just feel like eating the basics and not doing a lot of cooking. It just depends on my mood and how lazy I'm feeling about it basically. Um, so yeah, that was it for natural grocers. All of those items together, uh, it was 43.33 for my total. Um, and it really is because I had to stock up on the erythritol and the blanched almond flour. That's where like eight, like 20 bucks of that 43 uh, came into play. We all know almond flour is really expensive. So yeah, that is my natural grocer haul today. And I'm just gonna move these from this one table so I have more room for my other groceries I'm gonna talk about. Um, so now I'm gonna talk about my Kroger haul. Um, 
this is going to be loud for a second. Oh, that's all that's in here. Okay. So, um, I got three, it was three for five at Kroger for pork rinds. So I got two original and then one barbecue. Um, they also have a spicy one as well, but I wanted to get two of the plain so I can use these to dip in and eat on and maybe do some flavoring type thing. So yeah, this is going to last me a while. Three bags worth of piggy pops. That's yeah, I'll have that for a while. And then there is a recipe that I made last week that I like to make probably at least once a month, sometimes twice a month, just depending on my mood. But um, basically it's uh, maca phony. It's uh, basically like a cheesy casserole with cauliflower in it and then I throw a bunch of stuff in it. My husband and I both really like it. So um, I stocked up on frozen cauliflower florets. I bought six of these and these are 12 ounce bags of frozen cauliflower. Um, let's see what else did I get. I needed more cheese because um, I tried the fathead pizza uh, crust and it's actually really good. It's my favorite low carb pizza crust that I've made so far. And I um, had bought maybe a, a three pound bag or so of mozzarella. So I made, I basically tripled the recipe and so I have three pizza crust that I actually made. We ate one that night. I have two right now. So I needed to get some more cheese so I could add to the topping. Um, and then some other recipes that I may um, cook this week, they call for mozzarella as well. So I got a 24 ounce bag of mozzarella cheese. It is once again the low moisture part skim. I know um, according to Cooking with Christy, hi, uh, that I should get the block of mozzarella and shred it myself because of the starches they put so these cheese bits don't stick to each other, but I can't be bothered. So this is what I get. And let's see here. I got coffee, which, oh, oh my. Okay, I got coffee which I just need in general. I got a private selection raspberry chocolate tort. This is pre-ground, it's just really good. It's a great coffee and coffee is a very important part of my diet. It was before keto and it'll, it'll be forever. I love coffee. I got some Mazetta blue cheese stuffed olives and I like green olives like this and I like blue cheese. I've never tried this actual type. I usually, if I'm going to eat these green olives, I eat the ones that are stuffed with pimento. Um, but I just wanted to try these because they looked really good. This disgusted my husband at the grocery store. He, he hates blue cheese and he hates olives like this, but I love them. So I'm going to give these a shot and see if I like them. Um, another recommendation from cooking with Christy when she was at the grocery store, she said she likes to buy the olives and I was like, Hey, I should definitely get those. And you know what? I didn't even look at the nutrition facts. Serving size is one olive and it's one carb per olive. So it could be better, but I'm probably only gonna eat like three or four at a time if that, if that really, cause I mean, they're pretty big, so whatever. So another thing that I got just because I was curious about it is this Carb Master Ultra Filtered Non-Fat Milk. Um, total carbs, seven grams, dietary fiber, one gram. So six net carbs. Um, which are all sugars because it has six sugars in it. It's eight fluid ounces, 80 calories per serving, 11 grams of protein. And um, it says, our farmers pledge to not treat their cows with RBST. So this may be good for protein shakes, chocolate shakes, or if I just want to um, have some chocolate milk. Um, so yeah, we'll give it a shot. They sweetened it with sucralose. Sucralose. There is carrageenan in here, and I don't, is that a preservative or a sugar? I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to do more research on carrageenan because this keeps, this, see, this seems to keep popping up with some of the things that I buy, so I need to figure out what that is and determine if I'm okay with eating that or not. And let's see here. This isn't uh, a grocery item, but it is a supplement that I bought. I got uh, the Simple Truth brand Omega-3 Fatty Acids, EPA and DHA. And this has over, um, it's 1,030 milligrams of fish oil from anchovies, sardines, and mackerel. It has EPA, 180 milligrams, DHA, 120 milligrams, 
total omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil as EPA and DHA, 300 milligrams. So I want to start taking this supplement on a, on a daily basis. Um, fish oil, really. Uh, omega-3 just has so many health benefits anyway. It um, actually lubricates the synapses so your thoughts travel faster and your brain, which is really cool, and it's good for your skin and it's good for your heart. So there's so many benefits to this. And it's time that I start getting back on the supplement train and doing more with supplements. I was just, I just checked them out when I was at Dylan's and they didn't really have a magnesium or a potassium supplement in the organic section. So I just didn't bother with it and I moved on and kept on shopping. So is there anything else? Uh, oh yes, one more thing. So in my Aldi haul, I think I had talked about, I bought their version of um, grass fed ground beef and I paid $6.99 a pound, well at Dylan's it's actually $5.49 a pound for their Simple Truth brand. Um, the packaging looks almost exactly the same. So anyway, I bought just another one of these. I, I only cooked one of those pounds that I bought last week, so now I have two pounds of this that I have to cook. And I still haven't cooked those chicken breasts either, so I either need to cook them tonight, tomorrow, or put them in the freezer before they go bad. So yeah, I haven't actually cooked everything that I got at the grocery store, but I did need to buy some other things to go with and supplement and I'm just really into getting keto groceries right now and um, supplementing with that so I think on groceries because my bill was like 92 because I had to buy um, hygiene stuff as well I probably spent 65 or 75 bucks at Dylan's just on the groceries that I needed which is pretty good and then I spent about 40 at natural grocers so uh, about over 100 this week which is a lot um, on groceries uh, I I do need to go to Aldi and shop there more often, but it seems like my husband and I don't get around to doing our grocery shopping on Sunday until the nighttime around five or six. And that's when Aldi here in uh, Lawrence closes. So anyway, that's what I got. I am excited to cook some stuff and I will talk to you guys later. Hope you have a good week. Bye.